Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm Derek and welcome back. So today we've got another g -Pole tutorial for you and this one is Project Zomboid. Now, what makes Project Zomboid awesome? Well, it has so much addictive features like the split screen, split screen co-op, which we don't need anymore because we have our own servers. You know, we also have the focus on the survival experience that is as realistic as possible. And now we can adjust these settings as well with our own custom server. We can also mod it with the G portal server, which is even better. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the G portal website and click on my servers and you can add yourself a server if you want. And the one you're looking for is project Zomboid. So what you would do is go project, click the one you want and get as many slots, but we already have one. So what we're going to do is click on it and make sure your server is set offline at the top go to basic settings and i'm going to flip to the big screen now so you can see what i'm doing all right so make sure like i said your server is offline now depending on how many slots you bought for your server you can adjust on how many max players you want you can determine whether or not you want your server to be shown on the public server list by ticking this on or off i leave it on for admin passwords, Archon passwords, and just your general passwords, put in what you want here. But for me, I'm going to leave blank. Now for the map, I'm going to go for a bit of Rosewood and I'm going to have max accounts per user. I'm going to leave that at zero, but you can change that to how many you want. It's usually, I think the default is zero though. Um, night length modifier, keep that at one, which is normal darkness or 0.0, .0 for brightness, I think. Uh, z minus one is extreme darkness but i do not suggest that pvp on or off i'm going to turn it off for this one because a bit of pve is good um pause and empty pause the game if no players are correct are connected now i do suggest this if you want to keep your world as is and you don't want the zombie horde to be evil and mean and get bigger and bigger uh moving on we got global chat if you want the global chat on or off uh, your chat streams, so that's up to you. How about you doing there? I'm not actually sure what that does myself. Open to no whitelist activated. So yes, we don't want any whitelisting on our server right now. For this one here, uh, if you want to put your server message in, it's as simple as put whatever message you want it in, and then put this here lane and the little brackety things, and then whatever they're called in there, and then do another one, another one, another one. So for example. Uh, to interact with the chat, plan plus tab, right? And then if I wanted another comment after that, I just copy and paste these in and just keep adding them. Lock local chat displays local chat in the chat panel, only players in range. So it's quite interesting if like uh, you want um, more interactive on your server, I would suggest put that on. Uh, otherwise, just leave it off. If your server is open, this option will allow to create a user whitelist. So let's say... Um, I've got a clan and I want only my clan to get in first, then I would enable this and we can go to it later and fill in all the passwords. So, uh, which should be this password here, but we're going to leave that for now. Uh, all create user into a whitelist. No, we don't want that display usernames. Uh, this is interesting one because if you want people to show like, oh, right, there could be Damos walking down the street. But if you don't want that and uh, you want to do a more PVP focused server, you could turn off names. For spawn points, you can change your custom spawn points here, but I'm going to leave it as base. You could do your own research into that. System safety allows you to change their safety if false. And if PVP equals true, then safety will always be off. For us, we're going to leave the safety system on. Show safety allows the player to see if someone has his safety off while with the skull icon. Right, so moving on. The safety counters, uh, we got the toggle timers, the countdown timer. We'll leave that at two and three, but it's up to you whatever you want. Next is their spawn items. Now you can get this a list of items on Google or at the Project Zombie websites, things like that. Um, what I would suggest doing is get yourself like a full bottle of bottle of water full. Okay, and then just put it underneath um, that. So you just hit shift enter 
and like that and then move on or add whatever you want reset id determines the oh i've lost it where there it is <laughs> determines if the server is undone a soft reset this number does match the client it must match the client so every time we do a server restart or whatever this must be the same mods if we want mods for example uh the katana then i need to go to steam project zomboid and go to the steam database for example and let's see if i can pull this up and show you how to do it so what you would do is go to workshop here and you would find whichever one you want so i want oh i want a, the the warthog right so um what we want to do is look we need to find this one here so that that could prove a lot of issues so i'm just going to leave the warthog for now uh but like let's say katana okay so all right let's search and there you go you've got the katana okay so the katana what i'm going to do adds a katana to the game um then like i've shown you there the katana is there but make sure all players must have the mod installed to access each server okay so if they want to access your server they must have the mods that you've got installed so leave that blank for now right so players with the modified U uh, lua files that differ from the server files will not be able to connect keep that as a yes otherwise you could have some issues public description uh this oh is that not typing there it is oh it's not working be in a face right well anyway moving on for that one you can put your public description in there it's not working for me right now the time between each climate ping in seconds 10 ping limit 400 hours for loot to respawn you can leave it at zero which is the default value in game and hours till root respawns unchecked uh so i'm gonna put that to one which is my setting max aims for loot respawn if a container has more items than this value no loot will respawn so we're just gonna leave that at four items will not respawn in buildings that players have built structures in which call barricades so i would leave that if you want a more realistic thing but if you want loot to spawn in your base just untick it uh drop off whitelist after death um that one there uh, hardcore mode basically so if a player dies uh their accounts removed and it prevents creating a character after death so once they're dead they're dead no fire um all forms of fire is disabled except campfires that one is really up to you and how realistic you want the server i'm going to leave it on because i do like a whole lot of like fire burning through everything and things like that uh moving on to announce death every time a player dies a message will appear displayed in chat yes because it's funny to laugh at my friends when they die minutes per page the number of game world minutes it takes to read one page a book now you can put this to like uh like zero dot one i think it is and it goes a bit faster but i think 1.0 is the standard um save world every x amount of minutes so um I would just leave as is for now player safe houses defines if a player can claim safe houses yes admin safe house only animals can claim that no safe house allows fire yes safe house allows loot you know they can take items from their safe houses yes you can do you want players to spawn in the safe house that's up to you yes or no depends on how you realistic you want it then you your settings for that as well Allow destruction by a sledgehammer. Oh, of course we want it. Kick players that a player to move faster than is possible. That one there, uh, I would say leave off by because you can get some people that lag. Like if you have Americans playing on your server, you they, they will get instantly kicked out of this. Your server path ID prevents players from using different servers or uh, different servers on yours. If if current players do not match the server player ID, they will have to create new characters. Uh, I'm just going to say that. Discord enable. Yes, I want that on because we have a Discord thing. Now, to get your Discord tokens and things like that, this is uh, a, another setup. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you to do that. Uh, project Dom Void Discord Integration. Now, so what you can do is integrate stuff over 
and there is a lot of videos on this however right now what you need to do is create a discord bot which is a lot harder than normal so um the first thing we're going to do is i'll bring up this and i'll leave this in the description and how to do it it is a bit of a nightmare um actually i think i will leave that for now because it does take quite some time so what i'm going to do is disable that um but what you can do is get that and you'll have the chat and everything working on there sleep allowed for players uh sleep is needed yes steam workshop items if you have workshop ids and mod them upload them to your own server leave that as is steam scoreboard it's quite interesting this one um and avatars above the playlist but that's up to you if you don't want to see who's on the server you can just turn that off steam vic yes keep that enabled voice enabled is up to you we prefer discord so i'm going to turn that off player respawns with self spawns directly at the corpse after death no because you need people to run back and show them that it's a hard game not an easy game um Player respawn others. Players spawn at other location another player after death. No. Uh, the higher, the faster the game continues. We use with caution. Now, this one's awesome. I would suggest leave it as base, but if you want to make it hard, harder, increase the value. Okay. Now, disable safe house when players connected. Leave off. Faction enables the factions in the game. I would leave that on. Faction they survive to create. So you have to, like, I would see, just have it zero, or if you want people to. Like spend more time on your server you could put it to like every three days or something like that uh, you know um faction players required for tag one uh allow trade ui yes hours for world item removal so defines how fast corpses disappear leave it for 0, 0.0 it's just default otherwise you could put it for like two whatever like that the world item removal list is basically everything on here you could add more so like if you've added the katana for the mod you could just do, for example, uh, base dot katana, I think it is, or maybe it was mod dot katana. I'm really not sure on that one, but we'll leave that as is. Uh, item removal uh, list blacklist toggle. I'm going to leave that as is. Disable radio staff. That one, I'm not sure what that does yet. Still working on that one. Disable radio admin, yes. Disable radio GM, yes. Disable radio overseer, and all that kind of stuff. If you don't want to know more about that, guys, you can look that up yourself. Item numbers limit per container, zero. Blood splat lifetime in days, zero. You don't want that too high because they lag at the server. Bandcake global sound, leave as is. Remove player corpses on corpse removal, leave as is. Zombie update max high. Max high priority, 300, but you can change that to whatever you want, whatever's easiest. Zombie update delta and the zombie update radius low priority, leave as is, as well as radio high priority. So, oh, that was a bit of a tongue twister. So, well, there you go. That's how you basically do everything for your own GPO project Zomboid Servo. Now, there is one other thing it is um, <clears throat> you can also go over here into your configura configuration files and you can actually mess around with them as well. But I wouldn't suggest doing that. Leave as is for auto update. Make sure auto update is ticked on. And if you want to back up your server, you go to backup, click create backup and confirm and then that will finish backing up at the top right and then you can see here so if there's ever an issue on your server you just click restore to that point for permissions if you wish to add say mods to your server like uh moderators whatever you just get their username and then click add username and that'll be it done so for example uh you have to find the right name it's a pain but you'll get there. In the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Dare. Go and enjoy your Project Zomboid server. And if you use code Dare at checkout, you'll get 5% off your order. Have a great day. See you all next time.